What's going on everybody, my name is Rico, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who didn't know here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to use the levels tool in GIMP. And the first thing that we're going to do with this image is we're going to adjust the exposure. So let's go to colors, exposure. And let's add some exposure to the image that looks a little bit better so let me hit ok and now what we need to do is we need to use the levels menu so we're going to colors levels and now you see this menu right here this menu is meant for the alpha channel and watch what happens if you drag this point to the right the pixels become more dark throughout the entire image and if I put a lace it back to the left again everything's back to normal and if I use this point right here and move it to the left, everything becomes a lot more brighter. The same goes for the midtones. One is like the starting point. So if you decrease it, the midtones are becoming more dark. And if you increase it, everything is becoming a lot more brighter. So let me reset that. And let me show you guys what the bottom half does. If I move this to the right, the black point shifts again and it looks more cinematic or basically faded out, washed out. So let me place it back. And if I use this one and move it to the left side, everything becomes darker as well. So that's what this does. So basically they act the opposite from each other. So let me reset it. And let's start with the red channel. Because I want to colorize this image, so I'm going to the red channel. And now what we need to do is we need to decrease the reds in the shadows. So which means that this has to be moved to the right side. So that was too much. So let me just do it very subtly to like 12 or something. And then if I move this point and place it to the left side, reds are being introduced into the highlights. So this is too much. So I'm going to decrease it a little bit like so. Let me show you a before and after. So the right side is the before, the left side is the after. Watch what happens to her face. There you go. It's getting a lot more color and watch what happens to the shadows a lot more blue is in it so this was before and this is after and if you move the bottom point to the right reds are being introduced into the shadows and if you move the right point to the left blues are being introduced into the highlights so i'm going to keep those as is and i'm going to work on the blue channel i'm going to keep the green channel as is i'm going to work on the blue channel and for the blues what i want to do is i want to increase the blues into the shadows so obviously this is too much but now you can see what happens so let me place it back to eight and i want to introduce yellow into the highlights maybe a little bit stronger like so to give it an origin till like look so right side before left side is after let me hit OK. And now the changes are being applied to the image. As you can see, this is the original layers. If I deactivate the eye right here, this is the original image. And this is the image after we've done an edit to it. I want to brighten it up a little bit just to play around with it. So for that, I'm going to use the curves. And I think just upping the midtones a little bit will do the trick. Maybe we need to crush the blacks a little bit. Maybe increase the highlights a little bit. Let me show you guys before and after. So on the right side is the before. It's a bit faded. Now let me move to the right. There you go. A lot more contrast. So it's a lot more clearer. And that's how you can colorize an image using the levels tool. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say. Which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video. And until next time, doei!